Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, folks around the world. Welcome to another episode of Hanging at Indie HQ, live at Indie Creates headquarters in beautiful Chiba, Japan. I am your host, Indie Creates producer and localization director, Matt Papa, and to my right is this rad dude who goes by the name of... Andy Singleton, local here at Indie Creates. Good noon. Everyone. Good noon. <laughs> good noon. <laughs> that, 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 was the, that was the great test line of the yeah. day. Good Legit had me like mic. just like doubled over with good noon. Forgot it what is. time of day it was. It's uh, easy I to remembered. do. I remembered it was noon. It was indeed it was noon. Well, is indeed noon. But yes, good. hello again, good friends. It's so good to see your faces in the chat again. And uh, wow, yeah, it's good to. In a minute. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a minute. You know, we've been Once again been a minute around the world and back again, as per the usual this time yep. of year. That's accurate. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's finally we are in the. Uh, I guess we're in the in the middle or the tail end of uh, the Ajisai, the rainy season in yeah. Japan. Yeah, and uh, it's it lasted a long time. Yeah, it's, it's as I call it, the, the the Japan summer soup is here. It's good man. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's, so bad. It's, it's like hi, hi. You know, forget about me since last year. It's, it's humid, forget. but it's still reasonable temperature. Yes, it's still like. Oh, I the, guess in Fahrenheit would be like yeah, like, like the soup, the soup's in the pot and it's starting to come something. to a boil. Like every day, it's like kind of a nice twenty-five yeah. Celsius, but it's just like a little, little, little muggy, yeah, a little bit, yeah. But it, it's it's on its way. It's really late, like it's you know it's yeah. mid July. Yeah, it's weird. Like the it climate change, right? I don't know. Weird. But yeah, so yeah, yeah, like I said, you know, we've been uh, we've been out of town for a couple weeks. I've been yes. out of the office this month way more days than I've been in it. So it's good to just kind of be sitting here in these comfy chairs with yeah. Andrew Singleton, Senior Localizer, and into Creates, and all you fine folks here. You know, since, you know, oh, you got a friend. <laughs> you got a friend. Yeah, but it doesn't have a Daki Makura cover on it. We are clearly doing something wrong here. Could be the, this is about the right shape. Yeah, right? Uh, I, we, we done goof somewhere, and I apologize for that. Well, you know, since we've been out so much, you know, what what, what have you been up to? Oh, what, what's, what's what's been going on in the world of Andrew Singleton? We went to we went to AX. That was yes, a, we that did. Was a nice yes, we did. Which we will get into in a little yeah. while. Do our full yeah, AX geez. recap for y'all. I really just kind of was such a big, you know, that's always such a big trip. Oh yeah, Jeez. for us. Yeah, absolutely. Other than that, you know, it's really kind of trying to take it easy, recovering from a, a jet lag. Playing that Final Fantasy, yeah. Whenever I can get a chance, um, you know. Other than that, I'm keeping keeping it real. <laughs> I make plans for like do a summer thing, do yeah. summer vacation. Yeah, absolutely, some point. absolutely. I get that in the works, but pretty chill lately. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you you need that. I mean, as you know, I, I'm no spring chicken anymore. So you know, as you do as you do those big events, you know, you travel and then you. You know, go hard at an event for however many days, and mm -hmm. then you have to travel all the way back yeah. after that. It takes a lot out of you. And well, you, some... did, you did a little leisure travel. Yes, I did. Yes. Here. So uh, this past week uh, was my birthday mm -hmm. on uh, convenience store day. Happy birthday! Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Uh, so 7-Eleven right. is one of the of easiest birthdays to remember. Mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate for that. Um, so this past weekend, uh, the missus and I we <clears throat> we did a two part travel. We went down to uh, Numazu, which is in Shizuoka Prefecture, on last Saturday. Um, we were there for total anime nonsense reasons. Yeah. Um, Numazu, for those of you who are fans of Love Live Sunshine, I'm representing today. Um, Every, Numazu is basically where the show takes place, like in reality, mm -hmm. and basically the entire town has like completely embraced the show and everything about it and all the fans of it. So <coughs> it's like it's like like the the shining example of like anime tourism because right. that is a thing now, uh, done right. So my favorite character uh, Yoshiko, it was her you know character's birthday. Mm -hmm. So when all the character birthdays down there in Numazu, they do all kinds of fun stuff uh, and have like all kinds of cool stuff going on like you know different stores will be having like little events and like so we were checking out all that kind of stuff like limited edition this limited edition that uh this one really good pub down there by the port uh did does like character themed beers and so nice. yoshiko's was a dark chocolate strawberry stout mm. and it was amazing it nice. was awesome it was so good 
Uh, so we were down there and then we went to uh, Nagoya for a couple days because yeah. uh, I like trying to visit new cities mm -hmm. that I've never been to and just exploring the city and see what it has to offer. So we were down there for a couple of days, uh, just hanging out in the city, trying out different places, different food. You know, some of Nagoya's famous, you know, chicken wings, uh, the miso tonkatsu. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Excellent stuff. If you're ever in Nagoya, make sure you eat those things because they're so good. Um, and then, you know, as y'all as probably know, I'm a big baseball fan. And one of my goals was to visit all 12 of the Japanese leagues, prof Japanese professional leagues stadiums. Mm -hmm. And Nagoya, of course, has a stadium. And my favorite team, the Hanshin Tigers, based out of Osaka, was playing in Nagoya when I was there. So Very it worked lucky. out really well. So I managed to snag tickets uh, for the game. <clears throat> And got to go to Nagoya Dome to see the Tigers lose. <laughs> and But crossed off stadium number 9 of 12 off my list. There so I go. did Sendai last year. Almost I was number there. 8. Nagoya this year is number 9. So I got Sapporo, which is you know, in Hokkaido, much in north of Japan. And, then, and I got the two most southern ones of Japan, which is Hiroshima and Fukuoka. So those are the three I got left. So we'll see how long it takes me to complete the list. But yeah, that was fun. Just, you know, hanging out, Look. you know, hanging out in the city, you know, checking out Osu, which is basically like mm. Nagoya's answer to Akihabara. Um, then we went to like the aquarium and stuff like that. I always try to go to like an aquarium or like a zoo if I can while I'm, in, yeah. while I'm visiting another city. So yeah, it was a, <clears throat> it was, it was a really great time. And, uh, you know, I ate a lot of delicious food, been to a lot of fun places. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, it's good. Yeah, you know, it's a good, good, good way to turn 34. Yeah. <laughs> But while we were gone, and while we were at AX, you know, we had some new stuff to share with yeah. you guys, and of course, you know, Maybe recapping a couple things. So shall we? Shall we get into, get into the it. juicy news? Get the juicy it. news. All right. So first up on the news docket, uh, uh, as you guys may know, uh, recently we've been making a very big push to get more of our games on Steam. You know, we've we've heard PC players loud and clear. And last month we re we uh, released Blaster Master Zero, mm -hmm. our our first of this kind of barrage of Steam releases that we're doing. So Blaster Master Zero came out last month. It is available now on Steam and of course on the Switch and the 3DS yeah, as well. Um, one thing I do want to mention for Blaster Master Zero, yeah, we appreciate all the support the game has had on Steam so far. And one thing that we realized we we messed up that we are actually working on fixing right now is we've we've heard from some people that the regional pricing on the steam version for blast Master zero was not yeah. set up correctly right um so we looked into it and we did realize that is indeed um some of the regions have prices that were uh not correct mm -hmm. so <coughs> we are in the process of fixing that right now so as soon as that goes through um, and those changes are live. We will let you guys know ASAP. Um, but I just wanted to let everyone know that it is something we are aware of. Mm -hmm. And we, we already have um, the gears in motion to fix it. Um, we're just waiting on basically everything we did to be finalized yeah. and ready right. to go on the Steam store. So we apologize for any to any of you guys who were affected by those the messed up regional prices. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be fixed. And of course, any subsequent releases uh, will not have that same problem. So we appreciate uh, your understanding and your patience. Um, we've pretty much done all we can do. So now we're just waiting for yeah. you know for all the stuff to get basically to go through and be yeah. finalized. I think people would have to hear that. <clears throat> so again, thank you guys for your patience with that. So that will be ready ASAP. And you know, I hope you guys in all regions can continue to enjoy Blaster Master Zero and. The awesome DLC characters that we have yes. available at an appropriate for price. It. For yes, your at a, yes, at an appropriate <laughs> price for your selective region. Now, when it comes to Steam, we said you know we're we're making an effort to yes. release more games, right? Well, continuing that effort at Anime Expo this very year, two what two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, uh, right there on the show floor. Well, actually, off the show floor in a panel room, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we announced that Mighty Gunvolt Burst will be the next game in line to get its big Steam release. And Mighty Gunvolt Burst, of course, will be coming to Steam in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. July 31st, Mighty Gunvolt Burst will be making its way to Steam, making it number two in the lineup of all the great Steam releases. 
So yeah, that's going to be you know the same thing as Blaster Master Zero. Mm -hmm. you know, same thing as the Switch price, rather. It's going to be available for nine ninety nine, hitting the shop on July thirty first. And of course, we also will have the DLC character packs. Oh, and we have a trailer. Okay. Oh, okay. So, <coughs> excuse me about that. Yeah. So, just give you a, a taste of the action here. Um, you know, Mighty Gumball Burst was originally released almost two years ago at this point, back in 2017. It was one of our, I believe it was our, what was our first? No, not our first Switch title. Obviously not our first Switch title. It was our second Switch title. Came out, we released Mighty Gumball Burst in June of 2017. Yeah, right. So it's really nice to kind of be able to talk about the game again, you know, mm -hmm. make it, you know, current and relevant again. So we are very happy to bring burst to steam we've gotten a lot of requests for this game um you know bunny gumball burst as you can clearly see is very much our very classic style old school 2d action that you know we've been making for however many years now so you know we are very happy to get this in the hand of pc players everywhere and so you just need two more weeks and the game will be available on the steam yeah. store and of course, you know, Mighty Gunvolt Burst, just like Blaster Master Zero, has a bunch of awesome DLC characters. And the way they are, their way they are going to be sold on the Steam Store, of course, will be then packs. So we basically we have two packs. We have the Heroines Pack and the Rivals Pack. The Heroines Pack, of course, contains Jewel from Gunvolt, mm -hmm. uh, Call from Mighty Number no. Nine, and Tenzo, who is, I guess, technically. Not a heroine, but he's in there anyway. Uh, uh, from the original Gao Gun. He right. is the OG Mr. Popular. He, he's Ekoro's heroine. Yes, right. he's Ekoro's heroine. That is true. As it were. So it's it, I, I, I particularly love the fact, you know, you, know, you could play as Call in Mighty Number no. 9, but you know, mm -hmm. this is the first time you could actually play as Jewel. Yeah. You know, this true. is the first look that a lot of people, even, you know, fans of the Gao Gun series have had of Tenzo before. So that's really cool. And of course, we have the the rivals pack, which has uh, Ray from Mighty Number no. Nine, Copen, our big boy, who's getting his own game real soon, uh, from Gunvolt, and Corona from Gao Gun Double Piece and Gao Gun Two. Mm -hmm. So you know, nine playable characters all together in Mighty Gunvolt Burst that you can play as. So we got lot, and each, a lot of stuff each character controls. You know, just like Blast Master Zero, each character controls completely different mm -hmm. from each other no two experiences with those characters are the same um stages may be the same bosses may be the same but as you and i can attest it's like playing oh yeah nine different games really that's just, a lot to it just because each character completely is their yeah, own they'll have their own customization to, and yes everything yes so. you know as you, you know mighty gumball burst is very much a customized to your liking type of game and we cannot wait for you guys to be able to get this on Steam in just two short weeks. So hang in there, get those wish lists fired up, and we're looking forward to a successful release of Mighty Gunvolt Burst. And uh, I guess we'll have to just wait around and see what's what's next on the big Steam docket, because we ain't done with this. Oh, no, no, no. We are not done. So all I can, guess I can say is stay tuned, all you Steam, Steam heads out there. Keep watching what we this got channel, in store, yeah. You know. Yes. Now, next, of course, is a game we've been working on for, I guess, geez, over just about six months now that the team's still been going hard oh, on. Yeah, right. Since release. <laughs> Excuse me. And that, of no. course, is Dragon Marked for Death. Now, Dragon Marked for Death is been going on since uh, January 31st, uh, and we have some very big updates planned. For the game, uh, we have one update coming sooner rather than later. Yeah, the team's working hard on it. I've been seeing them. I've been seeing them back there. I see y'all. Y'all working hard, and I appreciate you. We are adding new weapon categories to each character in Dragon Mark for Death that will completely expand the range of not only their equipment but mm. the types of moves and attacks and stuff that they can do. So we got the, in the top left there. We got the Empress, whose new weapon is a short sword. In order she was kind of like you know longer you know long sword yeah. type thing with the short sword she can attack and basically like a flurry of blows and she can do like a uh like a spinning slash like in the air 
and like she's a lot more agile now because her weapon's so much lighter so you know she can do all kinds of cool stuff you know she has a lot more like air mobility especially right. the empress is you know easily uh easily way more agile than she used oh, to yeah. be so i think for those of you who would like you know you should like especially you know you shinobi heads who like characters that are <laughs> fast on their feet oh, yeah. i really hope you can give you give empress with the short sword a try because i think she has a lot to offer um, top right, uh, our boy the warrior. He now has the great sword weapon type, mm -hmm. uh, which definitely, I've, I've, you know, it feels like it's more focused on attack. I feel like it's more like an attack heavy weapon. Would you mm -hmm. say? Yeah, definitely more. It gives you a bit more attack focus. It seems like. Yeah, you know, more, as you, more combo options. Yeah, because like as you can see there, he's kind of doing like an upward slash there. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can air juggle enemies. Yeah. Like you can knock them into the air with kind of that upward slash, and then <clears throat> you you can kind of take it from there. Uh, so you know, and of course the warrior, you know, he has that ability to flip his defense and offense at oh, the yeah. drop of a hat. Right. So he can, you know, the great sword of, I think allows you warriors who like to be more offensive minded. I think you'll really appreciate the new options that you guys will have with the warriors' mm -hmm. new great sword. Uh, the shinobi, of course, he already has two weapon classes with his kunai right, and right. his uh, shoot again. So while he does not have a new weapon type per se, um, he does have a pretty badass new attack that you can see on yeah. the screen there with his massive fiery dragon foot. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. Dragon we, meteor. We, yeah, we use this t in the combos, right? Yeah, that's, so that's in the lock-on combos. You can do that. Uh, kind of gives you an extra option in the air. Right. Like, you, you activate it, and it will change depending on your contract. Like, all these new moves also yes. will, you know, yes feed into that so it gives you a bit extra more customization on that front yeah for sure and then of course we have the witch who now has what we call the crystal mm -hmm. uh weapon type and although there she's called this cute little little jack-o-lantern buddy uh but you know this gives her new magic types that allows her to like you know rate uh it was like cure ailments mm -hmm. and like uh raise um raise um attributes all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so right. kind of more like buff you know wish can do more buff type of magic which she didn't really have any access to before. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the witch is even more versatile now <laughs> than she was before. Uh, so I, I encourage y'all to give these new weapon classes a try, and I, I think, you know, you'll really be able to expand the horizon, your horizons with these characters that you already know so well. And of course, as we revealed at Anime Expo, uh, it is confirmed, it's happening, dot GIF. Yeah. Uh, Two new characters, two new characters are coming to Dragon Mark for Death. I believe we said, uh, while it's still warm out, <laughs> that is what we said. <laughs> while there's still heat in the air, uh, we have plans to bring two new characters to you guys, uh, the, the Thief and the Oracle. So definitely stay tuned for that because it's can expand that roster to six baby it's gonna be awesome so stay That's tuned cool for more information and more details about that in the coming weeks as we get ready for the big debut mm -hmm. of the thief and the oracle and now of course our, our i guess our our upcoming game gunvolt chronicles luminous avenger yes. x brand uh, new yes game in the gunvolt so, so yes as a spin-off title of sorts you know in the same universe as Azure Striker mm -hmm. Gunvolt you know but very much its own series yeah. you know as you know as we kind of we kind of talked about this at our panel a little bit yeah. you know you know Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger X you know it is a spin-off title of the Gunvolt you know one and two main games but it's almost like it's, a, it's like its own series that runs parallel uh, with the Gunvolt game you know you don't have to play Azure Striker Gunvolt 1 or 2 to enjoy Luminous Avenger X, you may get some winks and nods and like, yeah, oh, I that's you know. Play fans of all. Yeah. Fine but, you know, especially with it. the fact that Luminous Avenger X is, you know, you know, like for, for example, like it's debuting on the PlayStation 4. This mm. is the Gunvolt game's first appearance on that system. You know, there may be a lot of people who've never played the Gunvolt games who may be like, oh, there's this new series here. Yeah. And that's the whole point. You can jump right into Luminous Avenger X right from the get-go without having to play because you know, as we talked about, you know, as long as they're willing to make them, we will keep this kind of 
this parallel, parallel double path yeah, of Gumball games reason. will continue will continue to exist as long as their respective directors are ready and able to make them. So I think that's good news for Gunvolt fans everywhere. Uh, sure. You know, and you know as. Luminous Adventure X gets closer to its September 26th release date. Mm. You know, we will be putting out more and more and more and more information oh, yeah. about the game. The most recent one of which was some brand new character introductions. Uh, we introduced the the Mino children. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the 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 kiddos who who live with uh, you know, I guess the game's main main heroine Kohaku, who who uh, X has a fateful meeting with, yeah, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and meet meet the Mino kiddos, shall we? So, <clears throat> first up for the Minos, we have Kyota. Let's get uh, let's get our boy Kyota up here. There oh, he man. is. So we got Kyota, voiced by the one and only Nozomi Chikamura. Kyoto is a bra uh, Kyoto. <laughs> Kyoto. That's probably where I'm gonna go next. Uh, Kyota is a brash but passionate young man with a strong sense of duty. He calls Copen bro and idolizes him as his personal hero. He's fond of cool things like weapons and robots. Pretty cool. Pretty cool kid. Yeah, he's he's that he's got he's got a lot of spirit. That's what I like about him. He's that you know, he's this he's this kid with so much energy, you know, despite being in such you know, really i I've been in such a bad situation, he's got a lot of energy and he's a big he's yeah. a big go getter. And you know, I, I always respect that in anybody. Right. Um so yeah, and I just love how he calls X bro. That that you know, because you, when you look at X, you think of many things. I don't think bro is one of them. You know, cause he's so just like cool and collected. He's not just like hey bro. Yeah. You know, so that's why that's why I love that even more. Uh, next up in the Minos kiddos, we have Jin, voiced by the one and only Ryosuke Sakamaki. Uh, Jin is a mature, kind-hearted, and indoorsy type young man. He prides himself on his deep and extensive general know-how. He thinks well on his feet and is the only one capable of following Kyoto and Kohaku's unpredictable tangents. He tries not to show up, but in reality, he's a huge Alola fan. His room is overflowing with little goodies that he made himself. Pretty impressive. I feel like I know some people like that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> make their own uh, Lola merchandise. Maybe not Lola merchandise, but you know, the... Vir virtual idol fans. Oh, sure. I feel like I definitely know some people like that. But yeah, no, Jin is very much, he is like the, he's like the straight lace has it together, you know, smart kid who, you know, Kyota and Kohaku are more of like the kind of, feel like fly by the seat of their pants type. Oh, and yeah. Jin is very much the, hey guys, <laughs> let's think this through, you know, just trying to be the brains and the logic of the operation, mm. I think. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good kiddo. I, I, I like Jen a lot. <clears throat> and uh, next up, finally, we have Maria. Let's get Maria up there. Maria, voiced by Maria. Maria, voice in Maria, voiced by Maria Naganawa. Uh, and Maria is a young girl with a fierce personality and an equally intense shyness around strangers. She secretly wants Kohaku to dote on her like a sister, but the sudden appearance of Kobe threw a wrench in her plans. She constantly gives him the cold shoulder as a result. The stuffed animal she carries around with her was a gift from her deceased parents. I do love that little derpy, derpy critter she's got. <laughs> it's, that it's, thing? I don't know, but it's good. And it's I kind of I kinda love it. Monkey squirrel? Monkey squirrel? Hamster beaver? maybe? Beaver? Like a beaver too? Hamster beaver? Well, man, he's just got the buck teeth too. It could be a hamster. He's winking as well. Kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know, like y'all. Y'all think it's creepy? It's cute. And I'm I'm kind of curious about that. But yeah, so like Ma Ma Maria, she's the you know she's the youngest one of the group, and mm. uh, you know I think needs need, needs more needs more love and care than she lets on. Uh, yeah, but she's a, she's a good kiddo. She's a good kiddo. I think it's understandable that she would want you know being as tiny as she is would want somebody to you know dote on her and protect her and stuff like that. So. I, th I feel for I feel for Maria. She, she's she's a good kiddo. So those oh, those are the minos. Mm. That is the news. Now, of course, we got some events to talk about. Yeah. Yes, sir. So switch one over on the next to one. events. <laughs> Finish one. Get ready for the next. That's how this time of year goes. So uh, like last week, we just came back from Anime Expo. This is our this was our fifth 
year at the show. That's wild, I think, Rob. And yeah, it really is. And I would say this is one of our most successful ones yet. This was an all Luminous Avenger X all the time booth. Mm -hmm. uh, we had four playable demo stations <clears throat> that we had. We had we had you know more merch there than ever before. Yeah, we yeah. had a, we had a couple new ones that we've had recently, like the uh, the Kana shirt, the Gunvolt and Copen shirt. Which, man, that, that was, was probably our best selling color. shirt ever. You know, Easily. We, we've Easily. come and gone with a lot of shirts over over the past couple of years, uh, but the Gunvolt Copen shirt that we had at the show was like we almost you like want that Gunvolt. Like you want that Gunvolt. Yeah, no, and and it was so glad to see the Gunvolt fans like re-energizing coming yeah, out to the show sure. excited about luminous avenger x and it was really awesome you know we kind of have a tradition at the indie creates booth of giving out pins to people mm -hmm. who visit or people yeah. who play demos you know the pins that we had the four that you see up there the upgrade the, this time yes they were really the biggest pins we've ever had they were almost mm -hmm. double the size of the ones we normally would give out so you know the you know big big guys about like you know about like yay big you know they were not they were not I small <laughs> Maybe not that big. Not that big. Not that big. They're not as big. They're really like, they were like, they were like, like this big. This. Big. Yeah, they went from 1.25 inches to 2.25. inches. Whoa. So they are an entire extra inch more yeah. of gunvolt pin for you right. folks. So maybe we'll go a little extra step. You know, if yes. you play the demo, you get to pick a pin. Yes. So had people come through and, and play for. Yeah, times, if we had some uh, repeat time. players, some people. Got to get that set, which is totally understandable. Yeah. You know, we see that at our events here too. You know, people want the set, and who could blame them? You know, right? Oh, uh, <clears throat> one of the really special things that we got to do at the show this year uh, was we uh, had some signed uh, shiki shis or like signature boards, whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. signed by two of Those the really cool. Gunvolt Chronicles voice actors. Mm -hmm. As you can probably see there, there's uh, Lola signed by uh, Maya Mayumi Neda and uh, Crims there. Uh, signed by uh, Suguru Narisawa, and uh, we raffled those off on Sunday, and so we had two of each that we raffled off, and uh, four lucky, four lucky folks got to take home some Lola cats and some Crim crabs. Yeah, <laughs> and it was uh, really cool to see people get excited about that. Yeah, it was really cool. Like, <laughs> like you know, the, as it was getting close to the raffle time, like the booth was just like a yeah. swarm of people around the booth. I was like. Got pretty busy. Oh right? man, I hope AX doesn't get mad at me for blocking the hallways and we all that them, stuff. Right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so thank you to everyone who came out to see us at AX with you. Came by, just played a demo and left. You know, stayed to chat with us. <clears throat> bought some merch, didn't buy some merch. Whatever, we were just happy that you were there and we hope you had a great time at the Inti Creates booth. You know, we will of course be back at AX next year. And I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to give too much away just yet because got, we still got an entire year to go before right. the next AX. Yeah, got a while. But what I will tell you, fine folks, is that we are uh, leveling up. Leveling up. Leveling up. We are leveling up the Into Creates booth for Anime Expo 2020. That's all I'm going to say for right now. So, and I, but I encourage you, if you're an Inti fan, Gunvolt fan, what have you. You're going to want to come to Anime Expo 2020. Look forward to it. It's, as the kids say, it's going to be lit, fam. Just felt the internet cringe. Just cringe sure, so I'm hard. Sure <laughs> so, yeah, very much looking forward to our, our plots and plans for AX 2020. But before that, we got many other events that we will be attending to. Next of which is PAX West. We will be back at PAX West again, and we have a full Integrates booth all to ourselves. This will be our oh, biggest yeah. PAX booth ever. We've got Yo, a 20 by excited, 20, you know, four square booth mm -hmm. that's going to be all Luminous Avenger X. It's going to be Copen's big PAX debut, and we are pulling out all the stops. Oh, yeah. This is going to be. You know, when I talk about leveling up, it's a process, right? Right. It's a leveling up process. You don't go from level one to a hundred in one fell swoop. You gotta work your way up. And I guess you could say this is our first dungeon in leveling up. You know, it's our first right, raid. Of it's our first raid, and uh, we're putting a lot of uh, time, effort, and energy into building this new packs mm -hmm. presence. <clears throat> and I think you guys are gonna really like 
what we have in store for you for PAX, which of course is going to be from August 30th to September 2nd at the Washington State Convention Center in beautiful Seattle, Washington. So if you guys can get out there to PAX West, really hope to see you. We've got some really cool Be very excited. stuff planned. I cannot wait to show you guys what we have in store for PAX West. So I highly, highly encourage you, if you can make it out to PAX, to come join us there for what will definitely be our most epic PAX ever. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Not even close. No close doubt close. about it. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. So definitely come join us for that. We cannot wait to see you there in Seattle. So that is it for news and events. So, you know, at, at Anime Expo, you know, we had a demo version of the game mm -hmm. where we didn't just show Crim stage like we did in our last broadcast. Right. We had Rebellio stage, Mr. Sheepy Boy himself. So we figure, <laughs> what better time to give a quick look at Sheepy Boy himself stage than right here, right now. Hanging in THQ. We'll what, do fill it off a what, bit. what do you say? Some uh, kind of like we did last time. We just take a spin at uh, Let's do it. good old Sheepy Boy Rebellion. So we're going to switch it over to the game flight. And we're going to tackle Mr. Sheep Boy himself, Fluff Master. Let's play it and take some questions. Fluff Master Rebellion. All right. And, uh, you know, we know we, uh, we have a lot going on. We've been sharing a lot of news with you guys and just y'all have a lot of questions and stuff like that so you know while we're sitting here you know andrew's gonna take first crack at uh sheepy boy rebellio here See what i can do and uh you know so while he's playing you know while we're while i'm playing you know we'll be here to answer your questions i know you can say we got a lot going on so we <laughs> that's that's get get my uh my bearing straight yeah. no those things are awful You're yeah there's a uh, those, uh, you catch them, they'll, they, they just fall apart. But yeah, if they, if they, if they see, see you, they will, it's a bad very, time. It is a bad time upset. if they see you. Just charge it up. Oops. Yes, we do have loading times with the artwork. Uh, I, I can... I, have, I wouldn't, I have I wouldn't a, take I have these as, a, as like representative of what's going to be in the final build. This is a development build. Yeah, this, so. this is a dev build, so just keep that in mind. The dev these build. Going to be, oh, no. Dev demo oh, build. No. This is a dev this demo is build. This is a relentless. So oh. Oh. Keep that in Terrible. Mind. I don't want to get shot. Don't shoot me. <laughs> they will go after you. Yeah, no. These things are relentless. Play it safe. Get it to him. Oh, yeah, Lola gets very know. excited when you uh, keep your midair combos going. Yeah, they also toughen up a lot. <laughs> Rocket Knight Adventure. Yeah, I, I, I haven't played that game in so long. I feel like Copen and uh, I feel like he would be uh, fit in well in the Rocket Knight Adventures world. Yeah, so of course, Luminous Avenger, <coughs> Luminous Avenger X runs at a buttery, silky smooth 60 FPS, start to finish. You know, even if your even if your YouTube or Twitch settings are not showing that to you, I assure you oh, yeah, that yeah. the actual game itself is. Yeah, right. we might not be streaming. In a perfect, right perfect 60 FPS, that much is for sure. It's buttery. It's buttery. Yeah, I'm sure anyone who came by and, uh, and played the demo at AX can test Yeah, any, any of you peeps who were at AX can ah. definitely, can definitely uh, sure. back that one up. Break the ceiling on <laughs> That's cool. I didn't even know <laughs> that. That's cool. That's that's even, even we learn stuff every day. Oh. Ah. I've, these are probably my new favorite enemy types. Of, like, <laughs> They're pretty cool. The like floating energy ball shooting guys. So I see people. Uh, I see someone mentioning the time limit. So you gotta remember, this oh, is a demo build. Should hurt you. <laughs> this is a demo. This God is for like demoing time. purposes. So don't don't pay too much attention to the timer. Yeah, that is a demo timer. That's just to keep things yeah, moving. Yeah, that's at, uh, that's, the, that's to keep lines moving. That's to keep people from dilly dallying. Um, 
Yeah, so yeah, that is not part. The timer is not part oh. of the of the actual game. That is a demo build thing. It has more volume options. I'm not sure. I think it's the norm normal normal amount of volume Good options, question, I think. <laughs> いいかな、いくつだね。ごめん、ごめん、ジョジョさん。あ、sorry。ちょっとスキップ <laughs> 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 Yes. <laughs> if you want the full conversation, you will have to see that in person. <laughs> yep, you have to either come visit us at Axe or wait till it's released to get a little teaser, I guess. <laughs> Tiny little teaser. What the heck? Your alarm. Yeah, sorry about that. Before I turn that off. <laughs> Wake up. Sorry about that, guys. Go. I love this. My favorite. This is my favorite attack cool. that he does. It's so neat. It's a gathering gun of strength. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I love Absolutely love attack. That's really cool. I love the way they like form and disintegrate into string. Such a cool effect. Okay. Can I do it? Good luck. Oh man. I have ever dodged this before. Did you like you like that touch that we? Put, put hyphens between. Oh, oh God. no, he got was... you good. He got yeah. you good. Cool looking though. Yeah, that's one of my favorite touches was putting the hyphens between each word because it looks like a, oh, yeah. it looks like cool. it's being connected by thread. I thought that was pretty clever. Real cool. 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 thread kid. Yeah, I mean, he's got. He's got thread slash, you know, he's got septima powered thread and she's got septima powered hair. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. You did it. Cool, man. Didn't get, like I didn't get blacked out this time. No, you did not get blacked out this time. So for those of you who missed our last stream, I highly encourage you to check it out. Because when we were playing Crim Stage, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Andrew, you know, he was like, just about this, like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do the, the big coping, gonna do the big EX attack, yeah. gonna finish this off in style. And then, right as the whole animation finished, the timer hit zero and the I was demo so ended. It was like, like perfect timing. <laughs> I had no clue what was going on. <laughs> like, it was just too perfect. Like, you couldn't have timed that better if no. you tried. You could have totally tried to play that 10 more times, and you probably wouldn't have been able to make that happen. So, at least, not naturally, anyway. No, gosh. Was that a quill? Mm. That's a good question. What is it? I mean, I guess it. I guess it is. You can see it. It's a like a it's feather, like a, like a feather pen. Falcon. She <laughs> holds like a quill pen. Yeah. Oh, we have a, we have a section on the website that mentions those, I believe. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You can visit gunvolt.com. Check out the Gunvolt uh, Chronicles Lumos and Andrew X website. I never, just, never like, learned how to play properly with Copen. Well, now is your chance. 
He's definitely a different beast, but so satisfying when you get it down. Yeah. You know, you know, he can you know, I think once you <clears throat> once you master Copen's air mobility, mm -hmm. that's when you really kind of unlock his true potential. Oh yeah. And I feel like the the gameplay experience itself changes. And you know, one thing I noticed when people were like demoing and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, he gets a lot of range with his dashes. Oh yeah. This is far. Yeah, I think I think, you know, maybe in like a lot of other games characters don't dash as far and or something like that. Like I notice people like kind of stopping themselves short a lot. Yeah, you have to like if you let go of the button you'll stop the dash, right? Sort of like jumping in a platform. Yeah, like you can hold it down. He gets some distance. He gets super far. He gets some distance. You know, for those of you who've never played as Copen before, I think one of the most interesting things about him is that, you know, he kind of goes against a lot of conventional gaming wisdom mm -hmm. of dashing into yeah. dashing into bad guys. Like the thanks for good Yeah, you know, because you avoid smacking into bad guys. Mm -hmm. Not our boy Copen. Our boy Copen's like, I'm gonna smack right into the big dumb face and mess him up. <laughs> Just like messing up this uh you know, get all the angles right. Yeah. Fun. So your geometry, kids. If you want to be a good coping player, I just want to lower. I just want to lower to say wonderful. Really, oh, what it comes down to. I, lo I love just you know being at the booth, you know, for for four days and just getting constant lower commentary. Yeah. You hear it all the time. What's Copen being called X for? That is a good question. Mm. A good question. Good question. Playing in the <laughs> at some point. Oof, see? These things don't mess around. Right, you know what? We're gonna. Yeah, no, there's like. If you value your. Uh, oh, your previous, somehow got through there. Uh, yeah, no, seem to just back off and, and come back at them when they lower their guard. I love when lower makes my life easier. Oh, what's that? A bonus? <laughs> wow, Rebellion, you transformed so fast. Rebellion is a really interesting character. If anybody hasn't seen his profile yet on the website, yeah. definitely check that out. Highly check that out. Yeah. Interesting backstory. Yeah. I think, you know, we, we have a lot of sad characters, but I think he's definitely up there in terms of sad backstories. <laughs> in terms of sad backstories. Our boy's definitely, our boy's definitely up there in the sad backstory. Uh, tragic, tragic character. The, the tragic Gunvolt character's Pantheon. Yeah, he's definitely up there. I don't know if he's Zeus, but he's definitely in the Pantheon. <laughs> Noise. And you dodge it. You wanna try. Oh, I gotta say, my favorite things to localize are the uh, are the uh, the cut in like attack like super you know the, like the attack text. Yeah. Those are my favorite things to localize. You get, you get to just be so extra with it, and I love it. Yeah, well, you're gonna shred him. We, do, we going. Heard this a lot over the weekend, too. Yeah, right. 
as soon as somebody starts a demo, they press oh, all the buttons. You know, as you do. <laughs> as you get all the buttons. As you do. do. One of the buttons as you do. happens to do that. Very nice. Yeah. Nice to die. Oops. Oops. Gotta hit that, hit that plus Oops. button nice and fast. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a look at our boy Rebellio yeah. stage. Uh, you know, our, our fluffy, fluffy, sad backstory friend. Yeah. You know, I, uh, good for y'all to see more of him when the Luminous Avenger X releases on September 26th. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we still have some quality time left time. with you guys. So what I wanted to do is, uh, you know, since Mighty Gunvolt Burst is coming out on Steam very shortly, and uh, Copen's new game is on the horizon, mm -hmm. I thought, why don't we combine the two and play some Copen Whoa. in Mighty Gunvolt Burst? It's totally What's, playable in that game. He is totally playable in that game. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's uh, sw switch the switch. Sw switch. You want to switch the switch? switch. switch. Yeah. This one's set up. So Andrew's gonna switch out the switches, and we're gonna play some Mighty Gumball Burst as Copen. Right. And of course, this is the this is the Switch version of. Mighty Gunvolt Burst, yeah, just for ease of setup. Yeah. <laughs> Surely for up, ease yeah. of setup. Uh, yeah, you get that back. Oh, Surely for ease of setup, but you know the the Steam version please. will run just the same. All right. So Andrew's got a couple stages cleared here. Yeah, just a couple. Kind of an old save picked up. Uh, mm, what are you thinking? I don't know. Let's do a. Um, Military base? Military base? Let's do that. Yeah. Just jump in there. Assume that the setups are, are decent. Nice Maya sticker. Yeah. Couple options. Yeah. Don't remember. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna be extra. Yeah, yeah, Gopin's really fun in this because you know, it kind of breaks tradition. He has his uh, his recharging meter and everything. Yeah, I love yeah, it. I love that big old drill. When Coping gets hungry, <laughs> the hamburger. That's one of like just my favorite classic game tropes is the just find food on the ground and just assume it is safe to eat. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, from from wall from wall from wall Pull a hamburger out the tr trash can. Yeah, from pot roast in a wall yeah. to you know finding chicken legs on the street. <laughs> it's honestly one of my favorites. I have to do that to really yeah. have to pierce the, the defenses. Yeah, that's really super satisfying. DLC or post so much content. Um, we don't have anything we can really share one way or the other in terms of uh, uh, Lucas Avenger X potential DLC. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we still got a lot more things that are in the game itself to share with you guys oh, in yeah. the coming <laughs> in the coming weeks. So definitely, uh, I think you have a lot. We have a lot more tasty morsels for you to chew on. So I, all, I guess all I can say is look forward to those because we got some really cool stuff on the horizon for you. You know what's cool about floor ice cream is that floor ice cream doesn't melt either. It's pretty amazing. Uh, module. Uh, I, guess I'm, I'm, I messed it up. Next time. Yeah, I feel like Copen, Copen would be the kind of guy with you know the iron stomach required to handle expired chicken. Should he find it <laughs> on the ground in a that military base? And he's pretty, he's a pretty tough customer. Can do it. Oh no. No no no. <laughs> not not doing that. <laughs> not today, Satan. <laughs> oh no. There's a secret. Of the orange. The orange. Huh. 
Oh no! <laughs> but yeah, so of course Mighty Gumball Burst here is available on the Nintendo Switch eShop right now. If you don't already have it, and yeah. you know, just two more weeks till the Steam release. Uh, let's see. Are there any new outfits for Kohaku that will be coming to the game? Um, well, Kohaku does have outfits, as the evidence, you know, the fact that she gets a outfit that you can change into as a uh, uh, pre-purchase bonus. So she's got the Lola Wear outfit. As for others, we have to wait and see. Oh no. Luminous Adventure X had a physical release. Um, we are working on a, you know, we are hoping to get a physical release uh, for North America and Europe. Uh, we don't have anything confirmed yet at this moment in time, but that is definitely something we want to do and that's something we are working towards. Um, so when, if and when we have information to share about that, we absolutely will. Um, but for now, all I can say is that we want to do that and hopefully we'll be able to. News on the girl boss added to the Lunatic X will come soon. Eh, all in due time. All in due time. Uh, you know, we will definitely introduce all of the characters at some point. Um, so, you know, like I said, we had, you know, we had Rebellio and Krim already. You know, we had the latest one that we shared earlier, of course, being the, the Minos kids. Um, so, yeah, we definitely have plenty more characters to introduce. So, um, you yeah, know, look forward to those because, yeah, we got a really cool cast. Pop a hamburger. But Mighty Gumball Burst is already out. Yes, Mighty Gumball Burst is out on Nintendo Switch, but it is coming to Steam on July 31st in just two weeks. Yeah, all, all the DLC characters and stuff, everybody will be available from day one. So if there's any, you know, DLC characters, you know, uh, Beck, Ekro, and Gunbolt will be baked into the, the main game. Uh, but if there's any DLC characters you want to play, like our boy Copen here. Nice. You sweating for a second there? One. Yeah. Got it. I know, I think if Copen found some wall meat, I'm sure he can. <laughs> I'm sure he can, uh, he can handle it. Wall meat. I'm sure Copen can handle some wall meat. Uh, get the elements squeeze in one the more real quick. Yeah, if you're yeah. feeling limber, you feeling limber. You give it a try? Let me give it a try. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. All right, we only got a couple more minutes, so we'll see how far yeah. we can go. Um, uh, Coping doesn't run out of energy. Yeah, I'm seeing some uh, um, a limited edition. Again, we don't even have a physical version confirmed. So I can't really say much to a limited edition oh. when we do not have a physical version confirmed yet. So, yo, know, I would say let's let's work on that first, and then we'll see what we can do. You know, of course, Copen with his, you know, Copen has his, you know. EX weapons are, are very good. Yeah, the EX weapons are fabulous, and of course, you know, he has, you know, he has his, you know, patented air dash ability, you know, in the game, you just have to... Yeah, you get the aerial action. Yeah, you gotta get the aerial action customization option. And maybe, oh, maybe you'll start feeling more like Copen, the Copen that y'all know. You know, this is kind of more like, I think it's classic Copen. Yeah, if you want to know about the, uh, the new Game Nifty characters, we talked about them a little bit during the stream, and then also at the um, Anime Expo panel, but yeah, we got two new characters coming uh, while it's still warm out. Yes, <laughs> that, was, that was the line. While the weather is still warm, we, we are hoping to release uh, the Oracle on the team. Yeah, we'll have more information about that, obviously, as we get you know, as we lock down the release date and like all that oh, kind yeah. of stuff, you know. But we'll th tell they, you they more are, about them, like what they actually do and things. Yeah, they are they are happening. Out. They are coming. Um, 
So that, that in of itself we are very excited about. Just back here. Yeah, this is a, the excitement and the passion from the Dragon MFB community has been super great over these past six months, and I, I can't wait for you folks to get your hands on two brand new characters that you can sink your teeth into. Among other stuff. Among other stuff. Yeah, yeah you guys do. We got the, we got the weapon upgrade. Well, not weapon upgrade, rather weapon type. Mm -hmm. uh, weapon types happening. Dang, that thing really tears them up. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do. I don't think there are any changes planned for uh, Mighty Gun Bolt first. I think it'll be the, the same as the, uh, the game you know and love. Yeah. The Switch version. Whoopsie! Did oh my god! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it was I, uh, covered. The bottom screen was covered up a little bit by yeah. the uh, the short case. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. That's so fun. Oh, uh, what a way to what a way to uh, do that. <laughs> oh boy, that's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> that was funny. Well, <clears throat> well, almost like a classic game thing, you know. Some of those pits are pits, and several times you need to go down a screen. Yep. I think we're about to have to wrap it up. Yeah, unfortunately we do. Let's just uh, walk there. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, unfortunately that's all the time we are going to have for y'all this stream. But we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us as we continue to pump out more Illuminous Avenger X content. You know, we definitely got a lot more on the horizon. Are you Dragon oh, Marker yeah. Death players? Stay on the lookout for those updates. You know, I said we got the weapon updates coming soon. And then, of course, the big update coming after that. Hmm. And... Uh, well, you go burst July 31st in two weeks on Steam. Yeah. God, we've got PAX West at the end of August. It's going to be yep. it's a crazy summer here in G-Crates, but we are very happy to be sharing this all with you guys. So thank you again for hanging out with us today. We will be back in two weeks on August 1st, our time. Yes. So that'll be July 31st, y'all's time. Same time, same place, 11, 11 uh, p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific. Until then, you can find us on the Twitter sphere, sharing all the Check latest and greatest Angie Creates news with you guys. Play our video games. So until then, have a great night, a great day, wherever you are in this wide world of ours, and we will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.